Hi everyone, so I've got a pretty big haul for you today. I have several shops, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, right here for this part. If it gets too long, I will probably cut it short at that, but we will see because I do have a few more things coming. But um, yeah, so let's get into it. The very first shop I have is Simply a Mess. I order from her shop like all the time. I'm like so obsessed with it, but um, yeah, so this I recently ordered because of the Frozen kit, so I will show you that in just a minute, but I'm going to go over the smaller stuff first, so as usual, her um, business card, I think this is new actually, it's kind of hard to see unless you tilt it like right at that angle, because then you can see simply a mess, um, it's foiled, it's like almost a purplish font over blue foil, which is a really interesting choice but the whole thing is foiled so that's kind of cool it's almost like a secret message um so that's her new business card i think it's new i don't think she had one with her orders before and then here's the freebie this is um the great canadian planner sale i think that's what it's called um the spring freebie so it's got a movie marquee tea video game controller, clean script, and a girl with the pineapple, which is so cute, so summery, even though it's on a spring freebie. And then I got, um, I think just one icon sheet this time. This is new. It's her rent sheet. And I like how there's, oh, just flung it across the table. I like how there's some options for rent and then some with just houses. So you could write rent next to it if you want to, but it could also just be used for anything house related. And I love that. I love house stickers and just drawings of houses, even though I don't often have an occasion to use them. Um, it is good to have them for things like paying rent or um, going to open houses, which is something that I did with my parents a lot. I obviously don't really have cause to now, but it was always fun for me when I did it with my parents. So, you know, just in case I do that again in the future. Um, I guess I'll save for that. This is the journaling card that came with it. It's kind of a beach scene. Very nice. I love those colors. And um, let's go over the kits first, actually. So let's start with the frozen kit, which is what I bought it for. Um, I'm going to open it up and show you the format of these kits just um, in case you're not familiar with them but I won't show you that for all of them because they're all the same. So as usual, nine full boxes, which I love. The Some People Are Worth Nothing For quote, which is so cute from Olaf. And then Anna and Elsa look beautiful. And then Sven. And then what is this guy's name? It's like Cupcake or something. I don't know, something like too cute for him. I don't know, I really love this art. I think it's exclusive, it may be. And then there's the deco page and weekend banner, movie marquee and checklists, full boxes and headers, and then bottom washi and habit trackers and sidebar trackers. So this is the mini kit size, I believe, which is generally everything that I need. I don't tend to need more than what's in here. The only extra thing I think I usually buy is glitter headers and if she has an option to, if she has Fashion Girls as an add-on, I'll usually buy that as well. Um, there are also date covers that she usually offers as extra, but I don't often get those because I find that with the, the, uh, the amount of small deco that she provides in her kits, you uh, don't really need the date covers, so I tend to not get those. I'm like I'm looking for the glitter headers, and I don't think there are any in this order for that particular um, kit, which like I'm questioning that because like you would think there would be those, right? Did I just not get those? Because they are for the for this kit. I don't know. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I chose not to buy them because I probably had a lot of blue glitter headers already. That's probably why. I'm gonna assume that's it. If not, I can use washi because I have so much of that. Um, okay, so then this one, I've seen this art in many shops. Um, and when that happens, if 
the art is also in Simply a Mess's shop. I will usually just buy it from her because um, I like the way she sets up her kits the best and I think it's the best value for the price. So, so this is the art here. It's kind of, it's the more home collection, but it's kind of like home DIY and renovation. And I do have plans to build my own house someday. So this will definitely also come in handy for building a house. Um, if not renovating, because I don't really want to have to renovate. Like if I'm not building my house from scratch, I kind of don't want to put that much effort into it. But I don't know, it might be it might come in handy for that but if not it'll be used for building a house so here is the full boxes art that's house more home that's the cult box little paint swatches here which i like this which says idea instead of ikea which is so fun to me pinterest on the phone tools uh before and after which i also really like that could be like a double box right there and then a list of things to get with snacks at the bottom underlined that's so fun and then deco and everything else and then I got the glitter headers to go with that because the colors are pretty unique. I didn't have those colors on hand. And then the fashion girls. She doesn't usually include girls in her boxes, but she will as a an, an add-on. So I like the the fading in her hair in those two. It's more hard harder to see in these two, but um. But yeah, and I'm probably gonna use that one. I like how one of them is with the before and one of them is with the after scene right there. That's kind of fun. So that is the more home collection. I'm actually just going to put these back in later because if I try to do it now, I'm going to mess up and it takes too long. So instead of getting full kits, I decided to just get the full box page for these two because I liked the full boxes, but not enough to get the whole kits. So I figured if I really want to use them, I can kind of use up all my extras and make my own Franken kit around these because often I have more extras than full boxes. So it made sense to get some extra full boxes. So um, this is the Misty City collection. I loved the kind of dark and rainy aspect and it's very fall rain sort of thing, like that fall palette right there. I don't know, I just, I liked... I liked the darkness of it. Um, it's not often that you see kids with this kind of dark color scheme. And yeah, pretty much wherever I've lived, it's always been really rainy. So this is just kind of a fun anytime rain kit. And then this one is Hidden Kingdom Collection. I think I would have liked this more if it was directly referencing a book. Like, um, I don't know, it almost reminded me of the secret garden, but there's no castle in the secret garden. But like, I don't know, I feel like it could have easily been referenced to any fairy tale story, but it wasn't, it was just generic. And therefore I was like, yeah, I don't really need the whole kit then. Um, if I'm, I don't know, watching some fairy story or reading one that I don't have a kit for already then and it's got a castle in it, then I can easily just use this and make my own kit out of it. So I like the option of having these full boxes and I think I'm probably gonna keep buying these um, for ones that I don't need full kits of. Um, if I can like get a system together on how I'm going to use extras for those because that's gonna take some figuring. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with some smaller orders next. Actually, I'm going to do these in kind of like categories of what I bought. So I'm going to do all the kits first. So this is one single kit from Paper Candy Art. And what is interesting about this, obviously it's like Harry Potter, um, Hermione Granger themed. And I really love that art, but I have seen this art in, I saw this art um, in a La La Land kit actually. And it was on a $2 Tuesday, it's a printable. Um, so it was only $2, but I was like, okay, I love that art. I do not love how she arranged truffle boxes. Like in a pinch, I would get it, but I feel like there's better options. Um, and then I looked around and I found the shop that 
made the clip art, but she had like, she didn't have social media, so I couldn't see other, or at least she didn't have examples of other uh, shops that had used her art, and I couldn't, and it wasn't, the art wasn't even up in her shop anymore, so I couldn't see who bought it, but um, in addition to that, I, um, I tried like searching it on Etsy, searching, like, I don't know, just Hermione kits, and I couldn't, though I could really only find this one. And I just so happened to be really lucky in that I really loved these full boxes. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't a printable kit. It was a physical kit, and it was kind of pricey, but I went for it anyway because I just could not resist this art. And I was like, you know what? I might not ever find it again because if the art's not in her shop, it's probably old. So um, got to snap this up. So this is called Muggleborn, and it's very Hermione-themed, obviously. There she is, and her name's right on the book right there and a lot of other Hogwarts books there. The Time Turner and Flowers, she's reading a book. There's Polyjuice Potion, um, her beautiful hair from behind. That's probably from the Yule Ball, actually. And Crookshanks the Cat. And then um, that's probably her, her bag that she, uh, her magic bag that like holds everything because she used a spell on it. Um, and then her book bag and stuff. So it's, I just love this art and I love her right there. Um, I did buy the um, deco add-on because it didn't come with it. I love the deco with the little spew badge on there that wasn't part of the full boxes, which I thought was probably a good choice. Um, and a lot of other little things in here. Very cute and this is a pretty big kit, I think, I, even though I think it is the smaller one um, as opposed to the full kit, but so many scripts right here. That's like pretty much every script I could need for that week. So I'm probably going to definitely try to use as many of these as possible. If she's given me that many. And then tons of icons too. Like, honestly, am I even going to need to reach for character stickers this week? Probably not, but that's probably a good thing because it's going to all match color wise gonna try to keep this week as pink as possible um honestly with this and then the Accio pink kit from Scribble Prince Co I'm all on my way to having like a whole Harry Potter month of just pink Harry Potter kits <laughs> that would be such a fun idea um okay and then this one with the two extra full boxes I'm probably gonna use that one I don't know if I'll have room to use that one probably not date covers I, smaller icons, checklists, and sidebar trackers. Bottom washi, and the eleventh fall box. So I'm probably not going to use either. Although if it's a super busy week, week I may spread this out into two weeks, or at least spread the full boxes out. So if there's eleven, I'll do like six for one week, and then five on the other full boxes. And then there are no, those are like glitter strips, like really long glitter strips. I don't think they're like cut to be like headers, but they're really pretty. So I wonder what I'll do with those. And then here we have some half boxes and many like quarter strips, which is kind of disappointing because I would prefer more than four because I try to use a half box every day, but that's okay. Can live without that. And then here we have Date dots, headers, weekend banner, two options, movie marquee, work, habit trackers, page flags, bows. So it's kind of a big kit for the smaller version. So I really like that. Oh, and I almost forgot. So these glitter headers I actually bought from Simply Mess because she also used this art, I think. She must have. But I must have also looked at her full boxes and was like, mm, nope, they're still not as good as these. So that must be what happened. So knowing that I didn't want to shell out money for the deco and the full boxes from her shop, Paper Candy Art, because they were pretty expensive add-ons and the, the add-ons from Simply Mess are much cheaper, I was like, well, the coloring is mostly the same. I think um, Simply Mess, I think they changed the colors to be slightly lighter. So the, these colors look 
definitely a bit lighter than the ones on here, but they are mostly similar enough to the point where I can probably still use them. See, like that pink would be like almost like that, but it would be, it should be darker. And this I can't even find in here, nor that. But I don't know, I think in a, in a whole spread, like it would be kind of difficult to tell. So that is my plan for that, just kind of using those like that. And yeah, so I'm pretty excited to use that whenever I do another Harry Potter month. So the last, oh, I, I almost forgot to go over her freebie. I put this off to the side. Um, so this is the freebie that came with my order and it's all pink, which I love because that, you know, also goes with the kit that I bought. Um, these icons, this art is pretty common. Like these are stickers I bought in full sheets from Simply a Mess, I believe. Um, I don't remember who, or I don't even think I know who is the clip art um, shop that makes these icons, but it might be worth looking into because I might want to get some for myself and just print them off instead of having to buy physical sheets from other shops. But um, yeah, very common art. So I do appreciate having more of that. Okay, so now for this next part, which is pretty big. So this is my first order from coffee doodles yeah i think that's her shop she has like a personal insta and then a shop insta and they're like variations of coffee doodles and it's like <laughs> really hard for me to remember which is which i think one of them is coffee doodles etsy and the other one's like coffee doodles art or something like that but her shop um i guess is just coffee doodles or at least her physical shop is so she makes clip art but she has started using her own art in uh, kits in physical kits that she prints and she designs the way she designs them um, at least certain ones of them is so unique that even if other shops use her art it, it will be nothing like what she does so I will frequently do this thing where I buy kits um, multiple kits from multiple shops using the same art um, if I like if it's like a different enough and I love it so I've bought nine kits from her in my first order. I haven't bought any clip art from her yet. I may once I get around to designing weekly kits, but um, I started off just buying nine of her physical kits and there are some overlaps um, with the orders I made from other shops, which you will see. But um, yeah, so it was my first order and it was a big one. So she also left this note, which I thought was really cute. So I decided to include that in here. I do love my first order. There's so much. And I think it's a really good deal. Um, it starts with the $50 freebie and um, the TPC sale. I don't even remember what that stands for. There's too many sales going on these days. A bunch of freebies in here. So let me actually just go through these first because there was a lot that came in here. Obviously because I bought during a sale and I bought so much for my first order. So there are two bow seals in here, which are really cute. I love bow seals because like if you collect a bunch from different shops, they're so unique. So I have Scroll Prince Co. seals. I have Simply Gilded seals. Not too many. Um, I don't know if Once More With Love, if Marg has seals. She may. I don't know. I don't think I have them though. And now I guess I have Coffee Doodles bow seals and they're really pretty and I love these bows and I want more like that. And they're gold foiled, pink and blue. So all of these freebies kind of have the same color scheme. So there's a little sheet of bows right here. And they're all four different, very cute. That one is the same as the, uh, the seals. And then this one is probably just her freebie with every order. So I guess the freebies stack is what I'm saying, thinking. I think my mine and my shop do too. So we got a label there, quarter box, Still do, I believe. And some scraps. I'll let you read those. And then this is the sale freebie. So we've got this pretty full box that says salty eyelashes in the endless ocean. And then these which look like washi strips. And I like this one because it's like a half box, but like not a half box you can write in, like half of a full box. 
I love that actually. That'd be really good for the bottom of the sidebar when you don't have enough room for a full box, but you need to fill up the space with something. And mini checklists, which I love using in my daily planner. And then $25 freebie, which is another gorgeous full box with sticker sheets. I love that inception, plannerception, icons, weekend banner, habit tracker, which I do use a lot. Uh, so I save those. And then um, quarter labels. And then this $50 freebie with two more gorgeous full boxes. And I kind of like it because if you put all of these together, you, can, you have four full boxes. So you, if you have a really slow week, then this might be enough for you to use for like a kit. And then you can just use the rest of these stickers as part of that. So some half boxes, quarter boxes, icons, and checklists for the $50 freebie. So generous for her to send me all of that. So many extras. So now let's get into the kits. I'm going to start with the, um, the non-princess kits because I think I bought six princess kits, which is initially what drew me to her shop, I think. And then a three non. So this first one is Spring Cabin. Now I did buy the full boxes and pretty much all the add-ons with each one. And the way she puts them in it kind of gets in the way of the full boxes. So in order to show you everything, I'm gonna have to pull them out a little bit. So oh wow, her kits are like taller than usual so that she fits in stuff at the top of the full boxes, which is kind of cool. So this is Spring Cabin, and I wasn't really drawn to this kit by the theme, but rather the color scheme, because oh my god, it's wonderful, and I love the clean lines of the art style, and the cat. I admit it was mostly for the cat. But yeah, it's a very springy, cabiny feel of, of a kit, and I love that. And then um, there is the Fashion Girls, which I also really love. Um, I'm not too sure about glitter headers. Did I buy them for this kit? Do they come with this kit? Well, there are some in there, so it's quite possible that either I did buy them or they came with it. So I'm going to throw the Fashion Girls in the back so I can see the full boxes from the front better. And that's the Spring Cabin. Um, this next one is um, Americana 2.0, so I'm guessing there was a first original Americana at one point, I don't remember, or maybe it was just the same art, and she like reformatted it, because a lot of shops will do that. Like Scova Prince Co. has a Fantastic Beasts uh, 2.0, so this one I loved the art so much. I'm getting like an awful lot of Fourth of July art for somebody who does not at all celebrate the Fourth of July and does not care about it really that much. Um, but I don't know, I'm just, I love the art. So the Store Prince Co. kit for the Fourth of July, I really loved that art for, and this one too. So I'm not gonna pass it up just in case. It's gonna be a lot of hoarding going on. But look at that, look at that White House all decked out for the Fourth of July. Look at the inside of that house. It's so perfect and white and blue and the cake and home of the free because of the brave. I love that. And then here's the fashion girls with the cake that she just baked. So I love that so much. Um, I am gonna just hoard these, all these 4th of July kits. I don't know if I'll use one this year. Cause I don't like, I don't wanna use a kit that's so good for a day I won't even celebrate. Like, especially on my own. So I may in fact just hoard that till I actually do celebrate it properly and use, I don't know, some other, probably like a principal kit this year. And then this one is the Honey Bee kit. And this is probably what pushed me over the edge to making this order because I had had the rest of the kits in my shop for, not my shop, my cart for so long, like over a month. Um, and I was just waiting to buy. And then I saw this kit and I was like, I have to have that. I don't even know why. It's not that I'm obsessed with bees because if I'm obsessed with anything, it's spiders, but nobody's going to do a spider kit except for Halloween. But um, 
I loved the color scheme, the like that particular shade of pink and the, I mean that particular shade of yellow and the pink, it's like so pastel and just the bees everywhere. I think bees are adorable. I mean, they're kind of, they're probably more useful than spiders, but less on like a personal level. So like spiders catch all the bugs in my house I don't like or find annoying, but bees, you know, they pollinate things. I don't see that happening, but, um, but I think they're adorable still. And I will occasionally like catch them on my hands just to freak people out and it's funny. But um, look at this art. Kind of words are like honey sweet to the soul. I love that. And there's honey there. A book, flowers. This is just so my aesthetic. And look at the pictures with the cat. I didn't even notice that when I bought it. But that is so cute. And then the fashion girls look at her shirt. Can we talk about that? I love that. That's gorgeous uh gorgeous so i'm super obsessed with this art and it would make a great anytime summer kit it's really just so my aesthetic okay so now we can get into the princess kits of which there are many so let's start with beauty so this is beauty and the beast um which is my OG favorite Disney princess movie, which I've known for pretty much forever. Um, there's a lot that I like, but not there's not a lot that I like as much as this one. None of the others really speak to me on a personal level, but Beauty and the Beast always has. So these are the full boxes, and you're going to notice um, what I was talking about earlier with how she arranges her full boxes that no other shops do with her art. Um, and it is the frame that you will see around each uh, full box. So it's less of a scene per se and more of each full box has a frame and then there's one thing in the middle that it's focused on. Um, so there's not really gonna be double boxes either. It's very self-contained. And I kind of like that because I feel like in a spread, it's gonna make them look less like they're blending into the rest of the spread, which I've noticed kind of annoys me because like I like the way full boxes look in the kit and then you spread them out all over your spread and it, you know, they kind of get lost in all the rest of the spread. So I feel like this is going to make them stand out a little bit more and we'll see as I do a plan with me and use them. But I do like that and I like the color scheme that she did here because a lot of shops will recolor her art, um, but I wanted one that was very much like this with the classic kind of almost pastel um, yellows and reds and the very light blue and I really like that so I think I have gone through how her kits are formatted. I don't think I have though. I think I thought I did and I did not go through how her kits are formatted. So here's the full boxes as you've seen she really fits a lot onto each page. So here's the sidebar trackers, bill due, habit trackers, appointments, which are kind of fun, checklists, um, cutout icons up here, which are nice, page flags. Here are the date covers and full boxes and labels. And there are many full boxes or half boxes, which I really like. And I love those date covers too. And then bottom washi and decorative washi. Hmm. It almost looks like the bottom washi should be taller, but I don't, I don't think so. And then the glitter sampler. Again, I think I bought these extra and she probably just put them in here with the rest of them. But um, that is how they're formatted. There are also two sizes of kits for her shop. So this is the I keep doing that. That's why I hate putting these back on camera because it's just, it messes up. So I'm gonna leave this out. But um, there's two sizes and this is the smaller size. So it's not the like the deluxe or whatever, but it's got everything, pretty much everything I need in it if I buy the glitter headers separately. It doesn't have deco, which I'm kind of sad about, but I think I can probably live without it. There's, there's enough else in the kit. And if there's date covers, it's like there's less of a need for deco. Um, and then this one is Fairest, which is obviously Snow White themed. Snow White is the original number one 
Disney Princess movie, the very first one. And I like the movie. I really do, and I like the music. Um, but it's just, you know, it's not really my top tier. But I did love the art. So I guess there is a double box. She just extended the frame so that it filled two boxes, which I think is really cool. And there's the, f the floral frame there. So there's two kinds of frames. One is like, there's actually multiple, but it's kind of the same theme. And then Mirror Mirror on the wall, who's the first of them all, and the pie, and the dress. I love it. And she'll do Disney ears for each princess. And then here's the full box, or fashion girls, sorry. And with these, I, what I usually tend to do is um, pick the one that looks most like the actual princess. So this one I'm obviously going to use for that week, and then this one would be her. So yeah, I'm going to kind of whitewash it, but that's what the originals are like, so gotta stay true to the movies. And the next one is kind of hard to do that, but I will show you. So this one is called Whole New World. It's obviously Aladdin themed and I kind of had to get this because actually I think I bought um, Aladdin art from Solar Prince Co as well. I may have already hauled that already. I think I did. Um, I'm going to use either that art or this art for the upcoming live action movie. I may use one art for when I watch the original one week and then the other kit for when I watch the live action. But, um, I don't know, I just love these colors. It's like a lot brighter turquoise than I would expect. But, um, it still looks really nice. And there's Raja and her outfit. And, um, there's this whole new world, the lamp, the palace the rug and then the ears and then here are the full boxes or I keep saying that I mean fashion girls um and there's only three options of girls this time and then one extra full box which I still really like um and then there's the the frame too that you can see the flowers at the top and bottom so this one is kind of hard to pick which girl looks the most like her like Jasmine so I'm guessing it's probably gonna be that one although her hair isn't black it's you know the skin color is right so that is probably what I'm going to have to do for that. This one is Best Day Ever, and this is for Rapunzel, obviously. So this could be used for Tangled. I wonder if they're even planning on making live action of that, because they may. It would be pretty good for it. I would enjoy seeing that. But yeah, this is very much like the Tangled film. So, um, the ears, the bookshelf double box with the lanterns painting her dress best day ever uh, and then the snuggly duckling and the frying pan and then here are the girls obviously that looks the most like her so that's gonna be what goes into that spread very fun so that leaves two left one of them is a dream and I actually have this art already from I think simply a mess but obviously I loved it enough and thought this was different enough that I could get this one too and it is um, the one from simply messes shop is more why did I pull the whole thing out is more pink and this one is more pink and blue equally which is very true to the film I think because remember when the fairies are fighting over the dress they kept turning it blue and pink alternately, so I just love the colors, the very light pastel, and the, oh my god, the detail. Like, if you zoom in, it's so detailed. And the crown, the spindle, I guess, dress, which is pink and blue, which I think is really funny. The ears, the bed scene, and the book with the sleeping mask on it, and then Once Upon a Dream. I love everything about this, like this is so unique to me. And then the Fashion Girls, of course, and that's her. So that's so gorgeous. And lastly, it is um, Under the Sea. So this is for the Little Mermaid, Ariel. 
I love this a little bit less than all the others. Um, I don't know, something about it seemed like less detailed, I think, than the others have been. But I still like it, and I still like the Little Mermaid, so I have to get the whole set, you know. So, yeah, because, like, there's no, like, background here. It's just white, so it seems kind of plainer to me. But um, I still really like it. The ears, the contract, the undersea castle, the pipe, the trident, part of your world, the dress, which is so gorgeous, and the fork, of course. What is it, a dingle hopper? Something like that. And then um, the full box, the fashion girl that did it again. She did the same thing here where there's three options for the girls and then one kind of an armoire. So obviously that would be the Ariel version. So yeah, that is oh, my big order from Coffee Doodle. So I highly recommend you check out her shop. And yeah, so that is all of the kits that I'm going to be showing in this part of the haul. Okay, so for the next part, I'm going to go over this little order from Some Little Things because she recently rebranded and um, I only had one order from her previously and I knew she was releasing some Avengers stuff and I knew I wanted some of that for seeing Endgame. So I went through her shop and looked through everything again and found some other stuff that I had not picked up the first time that I wanted. So I love how she personalizes my name on there. So fun. And of course it comes with this big old Lil Avengers journaling card to obviously celebrate Avengers Endgame. So that will be the second Avengers themed journaling card that I have. So um, obviously the movie has already come out and I've already seen it at this point, but I'm still probably going to keep both of these up for a while. Very cute. Um, and then there were a bunch of freebies that came with this order. So this one is, oh, I guess there's two exclusive samplers. So this one is for April and there is, um, so it's kind of cool. She she puts like what's happening in April, so what's happening in each month. So here's a full box with I guess a frog on it, which I think is really cute, and then the little dress is a frog. And then what's happening in April is Easter. So there's um a little in coming out of an Easter egg. And then end game. So yeah, there's uh Thanos Lil, which is really funny. And then um this is to mark your Hello Kaylin order arriving. I guess this was before the rebrand. Um, so I guess in the future she's probably going to have some little things on there. Oh yeah, because on the next one she'd already changed it. So there you go. And then some little water droplets too. I'm not entirely sure what those she wants us to use for, but they kind of remind me of like hydrate stickers. Which I don't use and I don't see too many other people using either. And then this one is um, version two. It's kind of like movie themed entirely. So there's the Little Avengers full box, which is basically the same as the journaling card, but in a full box form, which is really great. Um, so I'm probably gonna try to find a way to work that into the spread. I'm already gonna be using the Simply a Mess Avengers um, weekly kit that week. And I'll probably try to add this in there too somehow. And then this one is for Detective Pikachu, which is so adorable. I don't know if I'm gonna see it. I'm not gonna see it in theaters, I know that. I'm probably gonna get pressured into watching it on my own like a few months after it comes out. So I'll, I'll use that to mark that. And then Aladdin, of course. I already bought her Aladdin sheet, but um, I can probably just use this for the movie and then save the others. And then the Some Little Things order arrived. She still has the HK on there though, which I think is kind of funny. And then more um, water droplets. And then these two freebies I got based on how much I ordered. So they were tiered, tiered playing cards. And I kind of wanted like all, um, all four of them. But I got these two and I just noticed they're the same. So I kind of wish they had been different. I thought they were supposed to be, so it may have been a mistake, but um, that's okay. They're still really cute. 
there is either cinnamon or oatmeal. I don't remember which hamster uh, name is for the girl or the boy, but there's one of the hamsters. These four adorable mushrooms. I love mushrooms so much. And then this little playing card guy, which I think would be perfect to mark Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so I love these and I'm going to hold on to them for that. Actually, so would the, mush the mushrooms. I wonder if she did that on purpose. And then here's my actual order. I haven't even opened this yet, so it's not organized. Um, but it's kind of small, so it should be okay. So this one is the movies sheet. Um, again, I like stickers that have some kind of emotion to them. And um, Some Little Things is a, a shop that is really good about doing that. So like her baking sheet, there's like lots of failing at baking stickers on there. But this is also good because it's like reactions to what movie you're watching. So there's popcorn, which is not really a reaction, but it's a nice thing to have. And then there's falling asleep during a movie, which I do a lot if I watch it at night. Um, and then there's like being scared or worried. And then watching a 3D movie and there's little popcorn and um, what are those things called? Sometimes I know what they are and sometimes I don't. Are they clappers? That could be it. Those little movie things. And then this one is grocery shopping. This is also kind of a mood because like the top one she's trying to decide between um broccoli and i don't know some kind of packaged products and she's got little question marks and here she's like yeah not the broccoli so she's throwing that out and here she is with grocery bags and here looking at the the shelves which i think is really fun and little icons at the bottom very nice and then here's rage quitting which is another emotions sheet so she's got the hammer she's like in a, in a fury ball of rage she's throwing a table and being really sad and then there's little like explosions and just really funny cartoon type things down there to mark rage and here's payday I don't have a ton of stickers to mark this because you know haven't worked for too long yet but um needed this to mark that I like the money flying away one because that's yeah that's me on payday you can get the money spend it right away this is star wars or she calls it galaxy wars so um well with the lightsaber and the guns and more guns and the little outfit from star wars i don't know the specifics of everything i'm kind of a fake fan not really i've seen all the movies and some extra movies like spinoffs or whatever not the ones that are in theaters the ones that are like directed tv or whatever um so i i know a lot from the movies but i haven't read any of the books or anything so i consider myself a big fan but i don't really pay attention to all the names of things but i knew that um what is it called rise of skywalker the ninth movie star wars movie is coming out this year i think i think it's this year so I know I wanted to have more Star Wars stickers to mark that. So I have these and I have Fox and Cactus ones. So I'm building up my collection. And this one is hiking. I do a lot of that lately. Now that I've discovered some trails near my house. So she was looking at a map, seeing a rock. And then she's just falling over because she's so tired, <laughs> which never is me, but it would be fun to mark that anyway. Um, resting on a stump. And with a walking stick and bag. Very cute. And then I did have to get the Instagram icons because I don't have enough Instagram icons and I need more. So these are like a good size. And then here are bear onesies, which I think are so adorable. Um, and I need, I need bear stickers because like I don't have any, but there's, I don't know, there's a lot of things in my life that involve bears. I don't know. The only thing I can really think of right now is watching Brother Bear, and I already watched those two movies, and they are very sad, and I love them. But I didn't have these to mark that. I think I already put it in my planner, though, which is kind of saddening to me. But just in case I do anything with bears in the future, I have these. And also, the three of them remind me of the show We Bear Bears, and I haven't seen that show yet. But when I watch that, this would be perfect to mark that, so holding on to it. And then... This is the Disney Incredibles. I love how she changed Star Wars to Galaxy Wars, but didn't change Disney Incredibles. Like it's obviously copyrighted. <laughs> but yeah, this is really adorable. 
I wish I had had these when I saw Incredibles 2, because I, I mean, you know there's not going to be a third. Is there? There's probably not going to be a third. But, um, at least not for another 20 years, you know. But when I rewatch the movies, I can use this. It's very cute. And then Fantastic Beasts. Um, this is going to be used for rewatching the first movie. And maybe if you want to rewatch the second one, I don't know why you would, because it's bad. But <laughs> if you want to rewatch it, you can. And you can use this to mark that. Um, and then I'm probably going to use it to mark, you know, the next three movies in the series, too. Oh, and here are the Aladdin sheets. I guess I thought I already had bought these, but I didn't have them, but now I do. Um, actually, no, I did buy some Aladdin sheets. I didn't buy these specific ones. So these kind of, you can put these four together and they make like a whole kit, almost. Um, but yeah, I love the, the full boxes. And then all the little characters. And then these are really fun. You can put that at the bottom of like a full box. And a little silhouette that's kind of cute too. So yeah, I bought those as kind of extras. I love how one of them's Hello Caitlin Brandon and the other one is some whole things. <laughs> oh. It's like she was like halfway through rebranding when she designed these two sheets, which are obviously like part of a set. <laughs> oh, that's so funny to me. Um, and then this one is Ate Too Much, which yeah, happens to me a lot. Pretty much any big meal will send me straight into a coma. So this is all too accurate. Washi love. Yep, yep. This is going to be in a few minutes when I go over the next part of my haul, which is washi, but um, yeah. I needed more washi stickers. I don't have a ton. And watermelon time. I do love me some watermelon. I've said this many times before, but I will just go to the store, buy a personal size watermelon, and come home, eat it all at once, because it's mostly water. It doesn't fill you up that much, really. And I love it. I can't stop. So... This is perfect to mark that. I already have a watermelon sticker from Sweet Ava's paper, but it's kind of bigger, so it's nice to have some smaller options. This is Detective Lil. Um, yeah, I guess I've started buying detective stickers now. I think I already explained in the last haul that um, they could be used for marking, like, I don't know, watching Sherlock Holmes, or if there's like some kind of mystery in real life that I want to solve. They're kind of useful. Um, heat wave. It does get pretty hot here in California, and there is no air conditioning. There is a fan that barely works, so this will definitely come in handy, unfortunately. And then the very last sheet, which is the Avengers. Um, I guess this is Marvel Heroes version 2. I don't remember seeing a version 1, but I don't know. Am I missing out? I hope not. There is Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, I think that's Vision, and then the Hulk. I don't know why that Vision is on there. Like... Why would you have Vision instead of Hawkeye or Black Widow? Or like Thor. Like, where's Thor? <laughs> you should have Thor in there. I don't know. Maybe that's on version one that I have somehow missed. But rest assured, I will be paying attention in the future. So that is some little thing. So cute. I love. And then this, like I said, washi, is my pre-order from Simply Gilded, which finally arrived. Um, we ordered it like several months ago and it's now just, not just now coming, which she said it would be a few months. So like I'm expecting it, like I'm not mad, but kind of excited it's finally here. So here are the seals from Simply Gilded that I've mentioned earlier. This one is like a white one with rose gold. Very sweet. And then the journaling card, which is student for the bunny. And it says flourish. I wish you would like find a way to protect these better because if you look, I don't know if I'll show up on camera, but like you can see the marks where it, where the washi like pressed into it, and it's um, yeah, and there's like some blue stain on this side. But um, it's still a really cute journaling card. And then here's the washi that I got. There were a lot of options. I only choose ones that I had already been looking for or knew that I just had to buy. I will explain that in a minute. So, um, I did buy only one 5mm set because I have most others. Like, I pretty much have all of her, um, 5mm washi with the exception of maybe, like, one or two. But 
I don't think I bought this set from anybody else, so I had to buy it just in case I didn't already have these colors, and I'm hoping that I don't, but if not, then maybe I don't have them in this particular foil color, which looks like copper to me. I know it's probably like rose gold, because I've said this in previous washi hauls, that her rose gold looks like copper, but either way, I probably don't have that foil color. Um, and then I bought this green washi set with that same copper foil. I'm just going to call it copper. It might even be orange. Whatever it is, it is not rose gold. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just loved this kind of lucky green color. I think it is actually lucky. That's the name of the color, possibly. But now I have that in the 15mm, 10mm, and 5mm. And I do like shades of green. Green's my favorite color. So I have a few more sets here. Um, three more sets. So this one is the black with, um, is that hollow? I think that's probably hollow foil. It would like amaze me if I don't already have this, but I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't already have it. So huh, maybe I don't. So there's the black and then there's the white, same thing, white with hollow. I must be on a hollow kick. Cause like I wasn't interested in it at all until I got a few hollow samplers from Silver Prince Co. And then I was like gung ho hollow. So, um, yeah, no, I'm super into it, I guess. So I got to stack up on all the hollow washi. So classic white, classic black and hollow. And then this last one I love, this is the black and white striped with gold bows. So I already have the pink with gold bows, pink stripes. I don't have the green. I may still get the green at some point um, from the buy sell trade. I don't know, but I really needed the black and white. It's so gorgeous. So that is the washi I got from Simply Gilded from the pre-sale. And yeah, I think I actually am going to cut this haul right here because um, I don't know if the next part is going to make it hit an hour or go way over and I don't want to risk that. So I'm going to keep this a little bit shorter than usual. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, share, that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao!